How much money did I make while traveling around the world in November? I got 97% win rate. I traded 119 times. I won 115 times. I'm going to show you my most losing trade to the most profitable trade. And I'm going to teach you how to buy and sell options. November 1st to November 4th, three trading days, I make 335.58, so it's about $100 a day. And next week, November 7 to November 11, I made $1,267.70, so it's about $253 a day. November 14 to 18, I made $922.49, it's about $200 a day. And next week, is Thanksgiving, so we only had about three and a half trading days. So I made seven forty-five and seventy cents. You divide it by three point five, we got two hundred and thirteen per day. And next week, only three trading days, I made nine hundred and thirty-three and seventy-three cents. So it's about three hundred and eleven and twenty-four per day. So how much did I make in November while traveling around the world? Trading only one to two hours a day. Use your calculator. Are you ready? From November 1st to November 30th, I made about $4,205.20 the whole November. 20.5 trading days in November, so you divide 4,205.20 by 20.5. I got 205.13 per day, so I was trading only 1 to 2 hours a day while I traveled around the world. How would that change your life if you just made $200 per day. You don't need to quit your job and you can even start to quit your job if you want. You know, if you start making four grand, five grand, ten thousand a month, I'm not saying that you're gonna make this much. Um, I'm just showing you how much I made. You may make nothing or you may lose money or you may make more than me. So it's totally up to you. Next I'm going to show you my 97% win rate from losing trades to the most profitable trade. Let's look at my trades. You're going to see my most losing trade to the most profitable trades right here. So the total cost is going to be what I put in. The proceeds is what I get. So basically, if you minus between the two, you're going to get profit or you're going to get a loss. So you will see most of the trades are in options. So I did option trading. And all these investment, don't worry if you don't have so much money. Uh, I got margin account from my broker so basically they let me for interest free when i trade options so when you're starting you can start with five hundred dollars a thousand dollars it really doesn't matter you know the most important thing is just to start and uh, don't worry about how much money you're gonna need and once you start you're gonna figure it out step by step and in my opinion a thousand dollars is is more than enough to start option trading so look at it two thousand loss so uh, I only had four losses. So I did 119 trades. So if you look at it, you know, 18 cents, two dollars, three dollars. So you will see going up. My pro profits are going up. You know, with every every trade. In November, I did 119 trades. I won 115 trades. So it's 97 percent win rate. You divide 115 by 119, you get 97. So if you look at it. The difference between the proceeds and the cost is four thousand two hundred five and twenty cents. So you will see the most profitable trade uh, options is mostly options. I did mostly options. I spent only about one to two hours a day uh, while traveling around the world, and that could absolutely change anybody's life. You know, you don't even have to travel around the world if you don't want. But I prefer to travel around the world. I don't want to. Get too stressed about it, you know, stay in the office from 9 to 6 p.m. Most people make less than 4,000 a month while going to the office and walking from 9 to 7, 8 p.m. The whole life, they spend the whole life walking in the office or working at the job. And I'm traveling, I did option trading, you know, a part time. This is just like my part time. So start your option trading. Next, I'm going to show you how to buy and sell options step by step. Let's say you want to trade Google options. Go to your stock broker, look for GOOGL, Google. OGL represents alphabet class A shares. What's the difference between class A and class C? Class A gives you a voting right. So if you own GOGL, alphabet class A stocks, you can vote in their annual meetings. If you own class C stocks, you don't have the right to vote. 
So that's the difference. So but classic share costs a little bit more because of the voting rights. So it doesn't really matter. So if you want to trade stocks, but I usually prefer to choose class A. So you can choose uh, class A as an example. You don't need to buy or trade this stock options. This is sharing as an educational purposes as an example. So Google, go to the right at the bottom, trade GOGA options. Click on it. Then wait for a while. At the beginning, you're going to see Google buy call so as a default so you can always change at any time if you want to buy call you can click on buy call and you will see share price $90.20 you can choose uh, strike price but if you look at it the lower it goes in the money you will see the premium cost more so the higher of the money you will see the premium cost less but you don't want to go too far off the money and I prefer stay around, you know, around the share price. It can be 90 uh, strike price. So what what does it mean? Uh, Google stock is expiring on December 23rd. Uh, strike price of $90. Uh, premium cost about $1.79. So one option represents 100 shares. So if you click on it, you need to pay $179 to own this option call options so if you change your mind you will choose put option you want to buy put option the color changes uh, put option is, is green in robin hood and if you want to buy 91 it's, it's gonna cost you $1.98 so 91 is basically it's it's in the money and if you are out of the money if you go down you will see the option premium cost less cost less so that's the difference so for call options, the lower the strike price, the lower the in the money. For put option, the higher the strike price above the share price, the deeper in the money. So as an example, let's go call options, expire date. Uh, I usually prefer to choose uh, 60 days, uh, expire days. So if you look at it, this is my 23rd. So I could choose basically in February. So it's, it's probably about 60 days. February 17, 2023. So you will see the premium goes up. You know, the longer the expiration date, the more premium you have to pay. But one thing you need to know is you have to be really confident about Google stock going up if you want to buy call option. As an example, you can click on it, 6.25. On the right side, it's going to show you how much profit you can make, how much loss you can make. The maximum loss you can lose is 625 because that's the premium that you pay. The maximum profit is unlimited because the Google stock can go up as high as possible that you can make unlimited profits. One cool thing about looking at the right side is it shows you maximum loss. It shows you maximum profit. And it even shows you the break even, $96.25. So because you pay for the premium, so if the stock price rises around $96.25, you're gonna be break even. That's a break even point. So you can select different premium to see different uh, different break even or different loss. Maximum profit is definitely unlimited because it really doesn't matter what stock price you choose. The stock price can go up indefinitely. So once you confirm your choice, you can click continue. Review your order before you place the order. You can click one contract. If you want only one, you can put one. If you want two, you can put two. The limit price is basically uh, the price that you are willing to pay to get these options. So, ask price means the amount the sellers are willing to sell these options. The bid price is the highest the buyer is willing to pay. If you don't want to wait, you can put in 6.25. The owner is going to get fair immediately, most likely, because you are paying what they ask for. So, after that, you can review order and it's going to show you uh, your long call. Long call means you're buying a call. If you ever change your mind, you can uncheck this. Then after that, you can go back and you can click on put options, you buy or sell. If you have any questions, comment down below, like and share, subscribe for more videos. Do you want to retire early? Do you love freedom? Do you want to work only one to two hours a day while traveling around the world and spend more time with your family? You can start stock investing and 
option trading right now. If you want to know more about finance, stocks, options, real estate, crypto, check out our playlist, stock investing, stock trading, option trading, real estate, cryptocurrency.